Terence gets his chance. One morning, Thomas was traveling along his branch line on his way to Fafarqua. When he arrived, he saw an old friend stopping for delivery. Terence, how are you? Hello, Thomas. Farmer Finney and I are just dropping off some eggs for Farmer McCall. Passenger runs as usual. Of course. Being back on my branch line after going around the world is great, even if there were so many new and exciting things to discover. That sounds like a lot of fun. I wish I could go on a big adventure all around the world. My caterpillar tracks can take me anywhere, yet I'm only ever needed for plowing and making deliveries. Not sure I'd be able to even go to the other side of the island. Oh, I'm sorry, Terence. That's all right. I have to head back to the farm now. See you later. Poor Terence. Meanwhile, Bulgy the bus was waiting impatiently at Suddery. <sighs> All right, Bulgy. Let's be on our way. I'll get you to the town square in no time at all, sir. Faster than any silly engine could. <laughs> <laughs> Important passengers must not be late. Oh, Jay, my meeting doesn't start for another half hour. We don't need to go this fast. Just a little more. <laughs> Roads ah, better. Oh, what's happening? Oh, bother. Express coming through. Why on soda were you going so fast, Bolgie? Were you trying to race Gordon or something? Uh, no. <laughs> well, uh, yes, actually. I've wanted you to take your time because my meeting wasn't starting yet. But now I don't think I'll make it at all. Hello, Bulgy. Mr. Mayor, sir. Uh, what's wrong? Bulgy here spent his journey racing engines instead of getting me there safely. I don't suppose you can go get Bertie? Well, sir, Bertie isn't available right now. He's all the way at Arwick. If you don't mind, I could take you to your meeting. Why, that's a splendid idea. What? Him? He's just a silly little tractor. And what about me? Don't worry, Bulgy. We'll phone for someone to come help once we get there. Terence was on his way again, riding slow and steady with the mayor on board. Soon, they arrived at the town square. The clock struck 12 as the mayor stepped down. Ah, right on time. Thank you, Terence. It's my pleasure, sir. Ah, so Topham, Mr. Percival, good to see you again. Well, Terence, looks like you got your adventure after all. I suppose I did. <laughs> All aboard for a big adventure! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>